gonna go ahead and uh, say that right there. But moving on. Next on the agenda, we have Baby Keem and his first week sales. Now, Baby Keem is a individual that is definitely getting a lot of shine right now, and people are, are definitely claiming nepotism. People are definitely claiming that he is a byproduct of the nepotisms because he is Kendrick Lamar's cousin. Uh, he did an interview uh, this year where he spoke on the fact that he didn't even really show Kendrick his, his music because he's uh, basically just like, I, I don't come to to get the help if I'm not ready for the help, you know? So uh, he, he claims to have not uh, used it or abused it until he was ready to use and abuse it, you understand? Uh, so... I mean, I wasn't there, <laughs> so I can only go off what the man says. I wasn't there. I don't, you know what I'm saying? But there's people in this world that, that do do that. That, but there are. I will be, be honest with you speaking. There are a lot of uh, uh, like people just related in the industry by some way or another. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it, it is weird. Like it's people like uh, I think Katrina is like City Girls, one of the City Girls aunts or something like that. Um, I think Gabriel Union and Sweetie be in the same mix and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's crazy. That's that's what goes on in in there. It really, people do be connected, uh, but maybe just be in the genes. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying be in the gene pool to just be, to be what it is. You know, uh, but in Baby Keem's case, you know, he say, says what he says, does what he does. He's also signed to Columbia Records. So you know, the push is there. Been seeing Baby Keem in a lot of blogs recently. Like a lot of you, uh, Baby Keem. We have a, uh, a lot of polls on them on the community tab. Might check some comments on that one after we do a little discussion on the Baby Keem topic when it comes to the amount of albums that he sold. Now, I like to always evaluate where music is going and like the, the scape of music and the sound of music and where it's, it's developing to, right? Because music always goes around and comes around and, and transforms in different like uh, ways and sounds, right? So if you're actually paying attention to that rather than just like the surface level of, of what's in front of you, right? Like, so people, I know for a fact, like I said, when the last stream of Playboy Cardi, they really was not on board with the fact that Playboy Cardi is going to be leading the next sound of hip hop, but that's literally what's happening. He's going to lead, the, he is currently leading like the rap rock new sound, right? And, and, and when he was kind of doing it by, and this is really as a, like I said, not unbiased individual. I don't listen to a lot of the new Playboy Cardi, but I understand his impact for sure on, on like, culture and, and the youth, you know what I'm saying? Because youth is the future of hip-hop, always. They're, the younger people will always decide what is the next thing for hip-hop, and then the older individuals always kind of hold on to what they knew was the hip-hop standard. But the hip-hop standard is constantly changing because the, the youth are the ones that are controlling that because they're engaging on the new content and like, and they're kind of deciding what's, what's new and what's hot and whatever. So the older will always be looked up to as the older and they can bring up the younger, but the younger will be what will stay around for longer for at least that period of time. Yeah. What? APCs? Three, two, fives. But Baby Keen, so 54K first week. You know what I'm saying? And he's under Casey Musgraves. I don't really know who that is. And uh, Donda and Certified Little Bar. And just dominating the charts with Drake and Kanye just one, two, week after week. It's crazy, like now, pff, everyone dropping. <laughs> Everybody in their mouth dropping. You, know, hey, you get an album, you get an album, you get an album. They all just dropping, like they all just dropping. And I feel like they're all just trying to take advantage of the fact that people are like streaming their albums right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, people are just like, okay, cool. Uh, all the attention's on the on the streaming services. As long as these people are, are not uh, the people that just dropped, like the bigger, players like you know drake or kanye or whatever then yeah they'll get streams but now they're people are really paying attention like they're listening to music so so you have probably their ears you know uh when they're when they're not listening to surf i love boy they maybe want to listen to something else so you just throw in your music you know uh good time for streams and numbers and all that stuff that's really all it is man it's all like behind the scenes analytics um just backlinks and stuff like that but baby keem i think selling 54k is is, is really a telltale sign you know the same way that Push I see selling what he sold like seventy k. That also was a telltale sign. Like like that sh the the hardcore, heavy in the believability street rap was gonna be next up, and it was gonna be a part of the next wave, or at least like what the sound is right now. If uh, yeah, that really was was just a telltale sign of like 
that really is what the sound is right now. Like the the people that are getting the most eyes and gravitation. That's really when a lot of the documentaries started. You know, what I'm saying a lot of documentaries and and um, people just going really deep into <laughs> these rappers' lives and their and their like arrest history and whatever violent crime they've ever done. They go just super deep and <laughs> and and like turn them into like like a, a case study. It's it's, it's really uh, yeah.